Hey guys, it's Rabbit, and I'm going to have to start off by asking you guys to cut me a little bit of slack because I might be wearing this outfit in an outfit of the day video that I'm debating going out and shooting. So if this looks familiar because you've already seen that video before you've seen this one, don't make fun of me because I did not intend to record two videos on the same day, but it's really, really nice outside and it's surprisingly warm for like the first time in two weeks. So I'm thinking today might be a really good day for me to go out in something that's short sleeved and, and that I can actually enjoy the breeze and the sun in. But okay, actually getting to the point of this video, this was just kind of something that I thought I should go ahead and upload because I haven't done a product review in a little while and I found a shampoo that I think is fantastic. Fantastic. So fantastic that I, I had to share it with all of you guys. So here it is. As you can see from the title above, I'm going to be talking to you about the Aussie Dual Personality Root Cleanser Plus Tip Mender Shampoo. I should start off by saying I don't really know where you can even find this and where you can buy it because this was given to me by a friend who was getting ready to move out of the country and obviously she doesn't want to take inane things like shampoo or like pots and pans because I think she was going to either China or like uh, Vietnam. I can't remember which country she, she left for. Obviously, we're not that close. But she just had a bunch of stuff and, you know, we were going through the boxes of her crap together and she was going to throw out like full bottles of shampoo. Like this one's full. I got two of them from her and the other one's in the shower and it's almost gone. But I was, I was just like, completely floor that she was going to throw away a good set of shampoo so I took them in a heartbeat and I brought them back and they just kind of sat in my closet for a little while because I've never actually purchased an Aussie product before on my own. I've sampled some of their conditioners just because my sister-in-law used to buy some of their products regularly so I think I've probably used like three different conditioners that they have and, and I don't necessarily dislike their products but I never really fell in love with them either. But I am not joking when I say that this actually is phenomenal and it actually works. Like it advertises that it is great for actually cleansing your scalp but because of the way that it's pH balanced it doesn't like fry or mess up your ends too much and I think that that's really important as a lot of you know who have been watching my videos for a while um, I don't necessarily ascribe to the curly girl method in that I don't I don't want to say I don't believe in but for me I don't follow that mindset where I have to remove shampoo from my routine with keeping my hair clean or that you have to use sulfate free shampoos because it's worked for me and, and you know I know that you know there's no one size fits all so perhaps for someone else out there you know it has been better for their hair to completely eliminate shampoo or eliminate sulfate based shampoos from from their hair care routine but I don't necessarily think that it's it is necessary or vital in you having healthy hair and growing it as long as it needs to be. And I would actually say if you are going to be starting out and trying to use a shampoo in order to accomplish kind of that balance between, okay, I need to be shampooing my hair, but I don't want to be making my hair too dry so that my ends are splitting. I seriously think that this is one of the best shampoos I've ever use. Seriously, it cleanses your hair really well because I have found shampoos in the past before where I literally have to shampoo my scalp twice because it just there's so much buildup and it just doesn't get the job done. But this one, it it cleanses my, my scalp on the first go and because of the whole tip, tip mender property, it doesn't, it doesn't leave my hair feeling exceedingly dry, which is phenomenal. So I really really like this like I said it's kind of crappy because I don't know where you can buy it um, I looked in Walmart just the other day when we were over there and I didn't see this there so for those of you who have used this before or you've seen this before what stores is this sold in I mean obviously you can buy it online you can get almost anything online so if I really really wanted to I could probably pick up some of these like a, a case of like four from Amazon or something like that but you know it'd be more convenient to actually just go into a store and get it but I really, really liked this product. It is definitely a negative that I don't have like a price per fluid ounce to give you guys. For this bottle, it's 16 fluid ounces or 400. It is 16 fluid ounces or 473 milliliters. So whatever the average price of that is, you know, you guys can kind of calculate that on your own and decide if this is a worthy buy for you or not. 
I definitely should say that I was not encouraged to do this by Aussie. Like, nobody sent me anything for free. And I don't feel like I say that enough to you guys. Everything that I show to you, I purchased with my own money. Like, I have no relationship at all with any other outside entity or organization or company. Everything that I show, I paid for or was given to me by a friend who paid for it because they were getting ready to move or they didn't like it and they thought I should try it. So you can rest assured that I'm not like promoting this for Aussie. I just really do think that this is a wonderful shampoo to kind of like start off with if you are concerned about shampoos being too rough on your hair. I really do believe that the key to having healthy hair with like the whole shampooing debate and shampooing issue, it's how often you shampoo your hair. I have kind of an oily scalp, so I have to shampoo about every four to six days. So on average, I shampoo about every five, but it really just, it does depend on the weather outside and what I'm doing. But I think like if you're shampooing every day, that's definitely a bad idea. You should definitely drop down how often you you apply some sort of poo to your hair but I don't think you have to completely eliminate shampoo so don't feel like you you can't scrub your hair if you absolutely need to but do be mindful of how often you're doing it and the types of shampoos that you're putting in your hair try to stick with ones that are moisturizing how the heck did I get from reviewing an Aussie product to talking to you guys about more hair care tips oh my goodness I'm such a silly girl. But anyway, I guess, yeah, definitely just check this out if you can. If you can't find it, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like I think this has to be a staple in anybody's in anybody's routine. But I really liked this so much that I wanted to just go ahead and recommend it to you guys. So let me know what you all think. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. And I will see you guys later.